Jordy and Jordy Smith will take on the winner of this heat. Will it be the, the local boy, Jack Robinson, or the North Shore young legend, Baron Mamiya? We'll find out in a moment. And there's two of the most popular surfers in the world. You know, when you're trying to think of a great movie part, as we see Jack going straight down, looked like he wanted to start things off under the hood. He could do just about anything on a wave. Big cars, big snaps. He said he loves holding a rail line and holding it as long as he can. Here comes Mamiya. Arc to start in the pocket. Nice glassy conditions. He'll commit for another wrapping turn. Waves getting smaller on the inside, but he's got some speed to burn. Cool jam off the end section to stay on his feet. Jack Robinson deep off the bottom. Cool tracking on that first turn. Throws a little bit of water on that wrap and now lights up the end section. Got there nice and early and he will lay low for the completion. Pamrose loves it. And we'll really see the first true opening exchange. I really feel that too. I feel both of them are going to have a lot of clashes together. Jack, that's a searing snap under the lip to start with. And uh, this wave here is really, this is a real local knowledge here, how he, he gets to do, you know, uh, flares it out of the top and then drives down the face. He drives out with the lip and just stays ahead of it. And, um, you know, it's amazing how his timing is so quick fire. He's still got to flare it a bit out of the top here. See, look at that. Gets it does a, a big layback snap and then drives down. He uses that foam ball to drive in front of it. That's certainly local knowledge right there. Jack Robinson competing on his home break. He hasn't reached the quarterfinals yet. Individual heat watching this. And now entering this wave, skipping down the line. The local boy will just keep searching as Baron holds priority. Yeah, well, one thing about both these guys, they, they both love to just surf, you know, and they're, they're going to have it out. This is just a classic kind of a street brawl in a way. So, uh, you know, John hasn't yet had a heat today. And we'll see how that plays out in the next one. Meanwhile, we've got Baron Mamiya setting up the right. Frames up a quick carve to start on the open face. Wrapping turn on the second effort. Looking to stay on his feet. Hits it hard with a free fall. He'll get the lead off Jack with that one. Yeah, he will definitely leapfrog Jack into the lead with that effort there. I like that ride, Joe. It was uh, uh, definitely more dynamic than his first one. As we check out this last wave, what do you think, Bucks? Yeah, look at the, the the offshore wind and the just beautiful carve on the uh, on the up in the upper part of the wave. Another one. I like that turn right there, and then he just sets this up well, keeps the speed going, really hits that lip perfectly and projects. And Joe, it kind of looked like main break, main break in board shorts. Certainly did. Jack's turn. Chasing down a 5.24. He packs the pit and makes it. The rare main break barrel. All the local knowledge. He knew it was coming. Some setup work on the open face. And now looking to finish on his feet. He'll go to the float. Smart decision. Maybe one more opportunity. There's no water left on that, that shallow section. So he had to get out of there. As you can see that entry once again. Yeah, Baron was having a look at it too. It, look, there's it just a, it's a, it's a slight fade here. And that's the tube set up. He, he drags his arm. Another tube set up, a sign. Again, just puts his, just holds on to the top of the wave. And as it envelops him, he's deep right there. And he doesn't come out through the top, it comes out through the lip, but it, it wasn't like a pounding lip. There was just enough there for him to burst through. Jack Robinson gets rewarded with a 7.13 and the lead for this effort. Yeah, the, the, the rest of the wave wasn't that dynamic, Jack. Now let's see if Baron can answer back. He's got the lip really shoving him down to the bottom. First turn, clean connection off the lip on that Open face hook. Resetting with that second move. Needs something big here as he's chasing an excellent score. 
Off the bottom, drills it off the top, and stomps it with authority. Yeah, and so he should. I mean, that was just, again, I think he's lifted again. He started with that 6-6-7, six, six, then he got the 7-5. I'm feeling that was stronger again, Joe. Buckle up. This wave here, don't you love it when a, a heat delivers on its promise? That first snap there, I love every bit of that. So solid. Look how much poise he's got. Again, comes around there. This setup here is just cool, calm, and collected. Very dynamic. Widens his stance a bit to anticipate and attacks a lip and just shows it. This is just such a dynamic move, Joe. Put so much into the finish, and he just had to free fall. He's solid in the air. Fully. That's always going to help him land in the flats hard. And there's the celebration. And Barron has risen 667, 8.43. Here goes Jack Robinson on a solid one at main break. Real hollow behind him. Speed turn. And he's going to get out of there. Things will open up for Barron. Nice read on the late takeoff. And up and out to try to hold his position. And the battle for priority will begin now as we approach the five minute warning. He, he might have to go. And looks like Barron will commit super late. Controls the takeoff. First turn. Finds his way through a carve. He'll stretch it out. Big section approaching. Hits it with all he has. And he will ride away. That'll be his last effort to try to get the lead change to really catapult off of. But the takeoff was brilliant. God, he made it look so easy on that takeoff. Great snap there. A little bit of a chatter on the face, and then he, he, he sees this big section. It's, it's way out the back. It's nowhere near the inside. And he kind of just has to wrestle with that big lip. But look at this takeoff. It's, it's, it's extraordinary. It, it just makes it look so easy. It's seamless. If you get points, you know, they, I don't know if they give points for takeoffs, but that was a 10 out of 10 takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> he does that all day long at home where he's found so much comfort in just having a 10-foot free fall and not even flinching. And the thing was, where are the sections there, Bugs? Well, it's this big, big behemoth section that he just attacks here, sort of bounces out of it. Scores are coming in for Barron. It is not enough. Jack Robinson gets the win and will move into his first quarterfinal appearance at the Margaret River Pro as he will be taking on Jordy Smith in quarterfinal number four.